Welcome to uh, Recipes at the Grateful Shed. Tonight I'm going to do a, uh, a cobbler. I always cook in my cast iron pan that, that uh, it always goes over real, real well and it's simple. It's just a few ingredients and you can cook it in the oven or you can, uh, I, use, I put charcoal on mine especially this time of the year because of the, it's so hot in here. I just put the charcoal in my cast iron pan and cook it out there. Oh, uh, hey Woodrow, how you doing? I'm all right, but you got, you got your apron on wrong set hours. I know that. I was cooking today and I messed up the outside, so I turned it inside out. You need your underwear like that when the one side gets dirty. Woodrow, what are you talking about? This you don't to be talking about underwear while I'm making cobbler. Okay, well. I guess it's okay to wear them wrong side hours, just don't wear them backwards. <laughs> Get this out! <coughs> okay. So the first thing I'll do in my cast iron pan uh, is, is, is spray some no stick spray, just any old kind, I'll, I'll do on that. Uh, you take apple, or you can use any kind of any kind of pie filling to work. Tonight I'm going to make an apple cobbler uh, and put pineapple in it. We just, just, just Pour it in there, right out of the can, ready to go. Spread it out. And uh, all these cobblers I make, be it peach or blackberry or uh, apple, I always put a can of crushed pineapple in with it. And just spread it around. And take any bag of your favorite yellow cake mix. It makes no difference. Uh, I learned this recipe when I was a scout master in the Boy Scouts. Uh, one of the scout masters taught me this because it was simple and, and it's good for camping because the only thing that's refrigerated out of the whole thing is the uh, is the butter. So it's just that simple. You've got those three ingredients and uh, I usually put about a stick and a half of butter on the, on the, just spread it around on the top and it don't look like that uh, it looks like that cake mix will stay dry as it cooked, but it won't. The, the, the pie filling will bubble up from the bottom, and the, uh, the butter will melt and make a beautiful crust on the top. So once you get all this ready, uh, just spread that butter out. It ain't got to be pretty because it's going to level out as, as it cooks. You just put all that on there and just put the lid on it. And what I do... As I cook mine at uh, 350 to 375 degrees uh, for 45 minutes to an hour, whichever comes first. Uh, and if you want to, if you don't have a cast iron pan, I, I put this 12 inch uh, dish out. You can make it in the house and one of these 12 inch dishes, that portion works out well with that dish. And uh, Mr. Produ Mr. Producer, if you'll come over here, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, one that's done and this is my apple cobbler and that's how it turns out now if uh, if that don't light your fire your wood's wet that's all I can say so you just dip this dip this out and put it in a bowl like so and put your vanilla ice cream on top of it and there you have it thank you all for watching our recipe video Remember, God loves you, we love you, and there's nothing you can do about that.